Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys a heads up on a brand new free Steam title that is available right now. A free prologue for a pretty cool RPG coming out tomorrow. We'll talk that. And Baldur's Gate 3. Well, I played it and it didn't really capture my interest. My oh my. It has captured the interest of a lot of other people. And that's what's important. It is peaking at just staggering numbers. We'll talk that at the end of this video. But first of all, Be Carbonize is a brand new free title available on Steam. This dropped about a week ago, a strategy card game. Do you have what it takes to save the planet? Bicarbonize is an environmental card game, a strategy game with climate change as your opponent. So, Interesting uh, gimmick here. Your enemy carbon emissions, research cutting-edge technologies, enact policies, protect ecosystems, and modernize industry to avert climate catastrophe. Create your own path to victory. Manage your resources well, and you might survive. Accessible but complex simulation. Will you favor industrial reforms, nature conservation, or people initiatives? There are many ways to solve climate change and reduce pollution, but saving the planet is not an easy task. The more carbon emissions you produce, the more extreme events you will have to deal with. Steer society and industry. You have to balance the power generating industries, social reforms, policies, and scientific endeavors. Will you transition from fossil fuels as fast as possible, or will you focus on carbon capture technologies first? Experiment with new strategies and don't be afraid to start again. 235 unique cards, impactful events, and high replayability, and a hardcore mode for an extra challenge if you do want that. The game is totally free to play, and it is available now. Moving on from that, this is going to be a free prologue available tomorrow, but I do want to give you guys a heads up on it. It is Robin Hood Sherwood. Builders Bandit's Trail. Free prologue Robin Hood Sherwood Builders is an action adventure RPG with base building elements where you take on the role of a classic hero who stands up to the tyranny and injustice that haunts Sherwood, fight, craft, steal, and of course help the local people grow. The game visually looks fairly decent, and it is a free prologue. It is a, a prologue version of the game Sherwood Builders Become the Legendary Outlaw of Folktales. Explore Barnside, the first region of the game's world, and face its challengers. Robin Hood Sherwood Builders is an action-adventure RPG with city-building elements where you take on the role of a classic hero who stands up to the tyranny and injustice that haunts Sherwood. As Robin, you'll fight, hunt, craft, steal, and of course help the local people thrive to spite the sheriff of Nottingham and his ruthless regime, all within an open world environment that can be freely explored. It's a famous hero of medieval English folktales, believed to have during the time roamed the forest of Sherwood with his band of loyal outlaw companions. The main goal is to help a fledgling community of refugees and rebels advance and expand. You start off your adventure with building a forest camp, which can soon be expanded following the arrival of new residents. System requirements wise, kind of higher end for the recommended RTX 2060, 8 gigs of RAM, i5 4670K, or an AMD FX8320. So that prologue is available tomorrow. So you guys can check that out. Again, B Carbonize is available now, while Robin Hood will be available tomorrow in a free prologue version. Lastly, I do just want to give you guys a heads up on these just staggering Baldur's Gate 3 statistics. Right now, as I'm recording this video, there's 600,000 people playing the game. Now, Lorian, I believe had expected to peak around 100k and um yeah they totally crushed that on top of that uh the peak for the game 600k is right now but the peak for this game was over 800,000 players which is just a ridiculous number especially when you're talking about more in-depth rpgs like this that a lot of people thought uh were going to the wayside now i meme about people's desires on turn-based rpgs from square enix and you know baldur's gate 3 while definitely different than a square enix rpg maybe it goes to show that people are into games of a different style than just straight action based um the game is doing incredibly well the reception has been super super strong i want to say it's sitting at a 94 on metacritic last i checked which is a staggering number on that front excuse me it has jumped up to a 96 on metacritic just an insane number obviously it's a game with an absurd amount of content Again, I played it, and um, it wasn't my cup of tea. But I, this is just like Divinity. I liked Divinity Original Sin 2, but it wasn't the best RPG of all time to me. If you, yeah, Take the majority opinion on this. Like, I'm not going to be a sucker here and be like, oh, my opinion's better than everybody's. No, no. My opinion is just, it's not the game for me, and that's fine. There's going to be games for me. There's going to be games not for me. Baldur's Gate 3, I can definitely appreciate it, and I'm, I'm probably going to give it more time. Don't get me wrong, just because I can see that there are has been so much thought and, um, you know, depth put into this game that, uh, I, I deserve to, like, you know, this game deserves, uh, more of my time. It definitely does. So I will be, uh, playing it, uh, 
uh, quite a bit more. So, you know, I'll give you guys an updated opinion at some point, but for most of you guys, if you're into choice-based RPGs, it's probably going to be something you really, really enjoy. So, available right now, and uh, yeah, go check that out if you're interested. But that is going to do it for me again, Carbonize available free over on Steam. Go check that out. Robin Hood, Sherwood Builders, Bandit's Trail, a, a, a free prologue for that will be available tomorrow, and Baldur's Gate 3, uh, doing very, very well on Steam, to say the least. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video. To remedy that situation, make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out